And thanks for joining us for Fox 43 News at 10. I'm Evan Forrester. Central York School District tonight voting on a contentious book ban. Earlier in the month, Central York High School principals sent educators a list of books not to teach, nearly all by authors of color. Fox 43's Harry Lee joining us now live from the school district building at Springsbury Township with their latest decision. The school board did vote to reinstate the list of books, although none of them are officially in any district curriculum right now. Now this vote follows a series of protests, one happening right here tonight. Of course, I believe if you're banning books, you're on the wrong side of history. The author of a book banned by Central York School District defended its place in the classroom. Earlier this month, teachers got an email saying they weren't allowed to use it or a list of other materials in their lessons. Most were created by people of color and addressed issues like racism and diversity. The ban sparked several protests. I hope it's, this is not something that becomes par for the course that we just have to fight about what books uh, we can share that talk about role models. It's even drawn national media attention. It's sad that it's gone national because York seems to make it on the map as a racist county. Um, but at the same time, bringing all this attention to it, I think, is what's going to make the change. Before voting, Central School Board members apologized for not removing some books from the list sooner and defended the original freeze. What these parents oppose is the use of diversity training as a tool of activism or political indoctrination which appears to be the aim of some of the resources. After hearing a wide range of opinions from students and parents, the board reversed course and unanimously voted to reinstate the materials. If any votes to the contrary, the motion passes. The list will also be posted on the school district website. The ban had ignited strong emotions on both sides with accusations of racism or political indoctrination. It's all part of an ongoing national debate about how we should teach our nation's complicated history. Live in Springsbury Township, York County, Harry Lee, Fox 43 News. All right, Harry.